Ladies and gentle folk, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Skyrim. Where well, last time we did a number of things, including ventured into a den of spriggans, murdered them all, got back to solitude, and we came here where uh, we visited this camp here where Anumla learned that former members of her uh, sort of mercenary band that she used to be part of are, are being systematically killed off by someone. Um, and so we need to put a stop to it, apparently. Um, so, in the meantime, however, what we really want to be doing is getting back to White Rum to see Codlack and give him this, this head before it completely decomposes. Um, <laughs> yeah. then get our stuff back from Delphine and then, presumably, head off in the direction of Riften. So, um, yeah, before we do that, though, let's see if we can talk to Bodan here. Thank you for bringing her here. If there's one thing Anumla values, it's friends. I'm glad she's found a resourceful one. <laughs> You're a suspect as well. <laughs> Don't bother just resourceful. By the gods, I'm dragonborn as well, for better or worse. So I've heard. It seems even now the Swamp Knight chooses her companions wisely. Perhaps someone of your stature will do for her what I could not for the people I've lost. Uh, has she told me much about him? Probably. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, uh, what do you, information do you have regarding the other deaths? What I know has more to do with the victims than the killer. Ulawei was a master assassin. Arnwolf was a bear in single combat. Elia and Moontail were both accomplished mages. To kill them all, one would have to adapt to their weaknesses or be of such skill that such measures were unnecessary. This assassin, he has studied us. No doubt he knows what we are all capable of and what we are not. That is why, for my dear Swamp Knight, your presence may be key to her survival. A smart assassin, then. You know, I don't seem to meet too many of them out here, do I, really? They generally seem to just sort of leap out from behind the nearest bush and then try and stab me in the face, usually with, um, incredible lack of success. So, <laughs> makes a nice change. Um, I mean, terrible, terrible. Oh, but, uh, I know what happened with the morning. Do I? Apparently I do? What? Yes. Black robes. Mourners we never would have guessed. I know what it's like to lose someone you love. If this assassin is one of their kin, then I understand their motives better than anyone. I'm a bit lost here. Uh, what of the chat? What? Hmm? It, but, but. Uh, then God's willing, I hope you find it. Whatever it is, I'm a bit clueless here. Really. I think I probably wasn't paying as much attention as I should have been. Never mind. Thank you, companion. Nevertheless, it's still presumptuous to say this assassin is connected in any way to these mourners. What mourners? Although, in the eyes of the gods, that may not matter. Uh, um... Adam Lars seemed concerned. She said you're almost resigned to die. Indeed. Four princes set out to play a game. Uh, what? They would choose a mortal, and each tempted with one wish. Nocturnal offered riches. Hermius Mora offered wisdom. Sanguine offered pleasure, and Molag Ball offered power. Yet, the man was simple. He had no desire for the trivialness mm, of I don't really have time for a fable. Wisdom, uh. The fleeting nature of pleasure, or the pressure of power. So, he turned not to a Daedric prince, but to Sithis, and was granted the one wish he desired above all others. Death. <laughs> it's a convenient tale. Not all things in life are as temporary or trivial as riches and pleasure. Some things are eternal. The friendship she shares with you and I with her, those are worth living for. So, I beg my love to wait just a little longer. My work is not done. 
I'm monumentally confused right now, but never mind, let's just go. Uh, uh, one of our old company members, Bodan, yeah, it's travel came with Graham News, however, as someone has been killing their old companions, Bodan asked me, asked me vet a lead for him regarding a noble they previously thwarted. Right, investigate Bodan's lead in Falkreath. Okay, that's a bit out of my way, really, so. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, ugh, good grief. Let's get back on track, shall we? I think I'm actually going to ride back around the Solitude and get the carriage to White Run. It'd probably be quicker. Um, in fact, it would definitely be quicker, so that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, excuse me, viewers, my <clears throat> throat is a bit... Blech. Anyway. Random, I know. Uh, right, so... Uh, tempted to just swim across on horseback. Can I do that? Can I just swim across on my horse and save a heck of a lot of time? The question is, I don't... Because I don't think you get wet if you do it that way, do you? Uh, with, with Frostfall, I mean. Uh, not Frostfall. Oh, yeah, it is Frostfall. Get me mods confused. Um... I could use a nap, apparently. Oh, dear. Uh, there's a distinct, I was going to say, distinct lack of hoof sounds behind me. Oh, yeah, can we just, you know. I mean, this should get me soaking wet in theory, but... I'm perfectly willing to abuse the game mechanics on this in this instance. I really am. Um, I, no, I won't ride the horse up on the, the dock like that. That would be pushing it a bit in the silliness department. But, um, yeah. So. <sighs> Come on, let's do this. There we go. I have noticed one thing actually lately. There seems to be in a. Oh, is it raining? Oh, it's raining. Um, seems to be an overabundance of people bickering, like like you would not believe, about Elder Scrolls lore in just about every flipping video I put up these days. Well, every Skyrim one anyway. Um, I I really couldn't give a toss, and I try not to get involved at all, but. Um, I'm gonna humbly request that maybe you should maybe people could put a sock in it because um, uh, watching people I just in my inbox every 15 minutes getting another comment from someone who has got so worked up that they're treating Elder Scrolls lore as if it's real history, constantly arguing away for days at a time in the comment section. It, uh, it really really well it doesn't let me just put it this way it doesn't do wonders for your faith in humanity. It really doesn't. I don't know. I think people just need to lighten up a bit when it comes to that sort of thing. You know? It's just a video game, guys. Calm down, alright? <sighs> Where are my compa- Oh, what just the- oh. <clears throat> Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? White Run. These two idiots don't turn up, then that's their own problem. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Will do. Oh, good grief. I don't think you can even technically qualify that singing, to be fair. Okay, we've arrived, and we do, in fact, have a house car on the Swamp Knight in tow, so at least that worked out. Ugh. Hello, can I... Yeah, Rissard, you're the buying and selling person, aren't you? Let me sell you some crap, man. I, um... 
I'm a bit strapped for cash, to be honest. He doesn't have a lot of gold, does he? Oh, God. Major wielding. Oh, that's a nice neck. Why am I not wearing that? Oh, it's because I... It's because I took it off as part of the damned embassy quest. Oh. Um, yeah, take that. Just, just, just. Alright, I've got a grand now. It's a bit better than before. Can you just put that on before I forget? <sighs> right, well, guys, it's late, I think. Isn't it? Yes, it's it, it, late ish. It's also soaking wet. Um, I don't think you guys want to go to Riverwood any more than I do, so we'll do that tomorrow, shall we? For now, let's just let's just go up to your Vasca and 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 chill and relax and dry out, for heaven's sake. Soaking wet, I think. Anyway, twenty-one percent wet. Okay, maybe not completely soaking, but still. Still don't know what you're talking about, Greg. I've noticed, actually, that for whatever reason, it doesn't actually seem to rain that often in Skyrim. It was raining in Solitude, and it's raining now in Whiterun, but I can't remember pre previous to that. I can't remember the last time it actually rained in this Let's Play. Really? I think possibly it did it once in Falkreath. I don't really remember. The weather's not doesn't have a particularly large amount of variety to it, does it, in this game? To be fair. Tell you what though, the night does look a lot nicer now I've got my FXAA injector set up properly. That's still a bit excessive, but um still. Nice lighting effects and all that. Good stuff. Not much of a frame rate here either, actually. Come to think of it. I suppose that's something people take note of. Um, but yeah, no real no real frame rate here. Whereas some E and B's can really tank your frame rate, come to think of it. So yeah. One thing I've noticed about this game actually is that it's a bit of a random tangent. Oh, hang on a minute, what the hell? What's going on? These two aren't a problem anymore. Apparently not. Silver ha oh. What the heck happened? These two aren't a problem anymore. Alright, I'll ask someone Silver more helpful. Hand. They finally had the nerve to attack your basket. We got the silver hand. Uh, they finally had the nerve to attack your basket. We got the silver hand. Uh, you know what? I will just leave yeah. you alone. Apparently he'll shell shocked if nothing else. Where have you been? Um, doing an honest day's work, Vilkas. I know that's a fairly alien concept to you lot around here, but uh, yeah. No, I was doing Codlex bidding, in fact. I hope it was important, because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack your Vasker. We fought them off, but... The old man, Godlack, he's dead. Oh, crap. Uh, it, was anyone else hurt? No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. <sighs> but you and I are going to reclaim them. Yeah, you're damn right we are. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Godlack. And they will know terror before the end. Stupid dog. Oh, that's not good. I hope you like Hercene's hunting grounds, Codlack, because, uh. I think that's probably where you're going. Uh oh. 
God, you know that's just tragic. That really is. Farkas is busy, apparently. Oh, fair enough. Hawkish longsword. Hey, look at that. It's kind of cool looking, actually. Oh, ah, oh boy. Um, We're going to make them pay. Yeah, we are. Um, Purity of revenge. Vilkas has come with me to avenge the death of Codlack by wiping out the Silver Hand. Optional wipe out. That's optional, really. <laughs> Think possibly not. Well, it's interesting that that's a choice, actually. Um, retrieve the fragments of Woo Thread. What the hell did they take those for? They're just adding insult to injury, and what the hell could they possibly use them for anyway? Uh, know what I'm doing next. Well, um, uh, Greg, you, well. Uh, You'll follow me to the end of the bloody earth anyway. Adam La, and you're in the revenge kind of a mood of the minute anyway, aren't you? So, you want to help me with this, and I'll help you with your problem. Tit for tat and all that. Cool. Stupid dog. Great. Where are we going? Oh, boy. Driftshed Refuge, all the way up there, eh? Crikey. It's going to be a bit of a trip, isn't it? Well, I'm going to sure as hell recover my equipment first. Um, okay. Uh, okay, 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 um, okay. I am tired. I need a rest before I go exacting revenge on... Oh, God, they hurt Athos. Well, I... <clears throat> it's not like a... To be honest, it's not like he didn't have it coming. <sighs> what do, Greg? What do? You know what? I don't care how tired and hungry I am. Some things can just wait when it comes to times like this. Let's go and get our stuff, and, uh, oh my goodness, got a small trail of people following me around now, oh, good grief, the payout, the pathing issues are going to be monumental. Let's go and get our stuff from Delphine, I don't care if she's in, asleep in bed, frankly, um, I will bash down her door, you damn right, Ayla, I will, I will bash down her door and take my stuff from her if necessary, because... We've got work to do. But frankly, these Silver Hand have bothered and annoyed me enough, and now they've just gone too far. It's one thing to randomly assault me on roadsides. Every now and again, but it's quite another to invade your Vasker and kill Kodlak of all people. You know, I like Kodlak. He was a very upstanding fellow. I had a lot of respect for that man. Mainly because he was the only one around there for a while that showed me any respect, but... You know, wouldn't be the man I am today if he hadn't taken a chance and let me join. So, you know, if I can't save him from Hersene's hunting grounds, then... The least I can do is... Avenge the ones responsible for his current predicament. Right. Time to get our things. And then I suppose we're probably in for quite a long ride. Delphine? Delphine, where the hell are you? I do hope you're awake, because, uh... Otherwise you're getting a rude awakening, madam. Let me tell you that right now. Where are you? Give me back my stuff. I've got... 
Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Thank you. Did you learn anything useful? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, they know nothing about the dragons. I was right the whole time. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? You're yeah, damn right I'm sure, madam. I really don't have patience for your bullshit right now. Let me tell you that. Yeah, you know what? Why'd you send me there if you weren't going to believe me anyway? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? <sighs> Well, you know what? That whole thing aside, they're looking for someone named Esburn, who knows something about dragons, apparently. Friend of yours, perhaps? Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. Uh, what would they want with Esburn? Oh, stupid question. He knows about dragons, therefore they want to question him. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? That too. Esburn was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Oh, wonderful. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. He'll know what it means. <laughs> Right, okay, great. Awesome, I'll get round to it. Right now, though. Carrying too much to be able to run, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. What the hell am I carrying that's so damn heavy? Well, that, for starters. Uh, Greg, where the heck are you? Have some armor, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna be able to sell this anyway, so... What's mine is yours, Thay. I can't even barely see you in there, actually. It's quite dark. Um, I'm not carrying all this crap around with me as well. Uh, you know what? You can carry loads of this stuff, come to think of it. Um, you know what? Here, take... Uh, okay, apparently you can't, because you're already... <sighs> Have that. Still carrying too much to build. Oh, not any hell. Adam Law, the Swamp Knight. Ready to get moving. Carry some shit for me, would you, please? Of course. What are items but things to be shared among friends? Preferably something you won't actually. Well, I guess you can wear this if you really want to. I just kind of preferred your old armor more, really. Uh, whatever. Right, I can move again at least. Um. You lead. Well, I'm not so sure about the helmet, but the rest kind of works, I suppose. So, what's the plan? Sure. Give me that bloody thing. Uh, I guess you could just wear the walkers one instead or something. Give me that. I'm right behind you. Gotta be honest, I preferred the old look, but um. If it means I can actually move, then so be it. Ugh, you know what? Just take the damn helmet back. I don't want to carry it. That's kind of defeating the point of this exercise a bit, isn't it, really? Take that. And, um, enjoy. Let's get, uh, out Vilkas, could you possibly... Thank you, it, I think. Be careful. Move it! Damn damn it, man, come on. Oh, so you do have a helmet. Sweet. Right. There we go. Oh, get out of the way! Ugh. 
I swear, when I'm done with you lot, I'm going on an expedition somewhere without any followers tailing around after me. Because this is something I could really do without. Apparently, Vilkas doesn't have a horse. Great. Wonderful. <sighs> Well then, Show no mercy. I suppose we ride and march north, dear friends, in search of a dish they say is best served cold. <laughs>